When you're learning how to write VBA code, sometimes it's tricky to understand what code you need to use. One way to help expedite this process is through using something called the Macro Recorder. The Macro Recorder is built into Excel and can be found in the bottom left-hand side of the screen in the status bar. When active, the Macro Recorder essentially makes a record of everything you do in Excel, and it does so by translating it to VBA code. Let's try it out. Begin by clicking the Macro Recorder button on the status bar. We see a prompt asking us for a macro name. In this example, let's just title the macro as Macro Recorder. We have the option to assign a shortcut keystroke to run this macro, but we won't do that now. We also want to store the macro in this workbook, so no further changes are required. Once we hit OK, we see a new module has appeared in our VBA Project Explorer. Clicking on that module, we see the subprocedure we just created through the macro recorder with a few comments as noted by the apostrophes. Let's go back into our Excel workbook and select cell A1, for example. We see as soon as we click on the cell, some VBA code automatically appears. This is the macro recorder translating our actions into code. If we type hello world into cell A1 and then hit enter, we see that those actions are tracked as well. To stop the macro recorder, simply click the black square at the bottom left of the screen on the status bar. Let's clear the contents from cell A1 and then run the macro we just created. As expected, we see the desired result. 